Hello everyone. This is the pre-market report video for today, 27th June 2023 in the new stock market in terms of Nifty and Bank Nifty. Yesterday early morning, IMD, Indian Meteorological Department, confirmed the progress of monsoon. In their report, they said that they had a very unusual new weather monsoon pattern. Generally, the normal date of monsoon starts for Mumbai is June 11th and for Delhi, June 27th. But this year, monsoon covers the same day on both Mumbai and Delhi. Not just there on Sunday, it also covers as much as 80% of whole India. Last time, the similar type of monsoon happened was at June 21, 1961. Anyway, this unusual positive monsoon made auto and FMC sector very positive. Thus, Nifty opened positive of 25 points. But the volatility in Bank Nifty made the Nifty 2 very volatile, but within the short window. However, in the end, it closed to positive, but still below 18,700. Sector-wise, auto and pharma were up 1% each, while FMCG and metal indices increased 0.5% each. And the advanced decline ratio was more of the 1 is to 1. So, it's not much positive, but also not much negative. Regarding institutions, FIS were net sellers for the third straight day. The net sold for near 410 crore rupees, while DAI bought the shares worth of around 250 crore rupees. Then, after the Indian market, major European market closed negative to flat in line with the global momentum. Coming to US, before their market opening, three top investment firms in the world, Goldman Sachs, Wells Fargo and JP Morgan, all three released their own statement about US market. First, Goldman Sachs, they said that the present US market bullishness is driven by sentiment and fast money, which makes it more vulnerable to disappointments. Here, they are indirectly indicating the bubble around the AA stocks. Second, Wells Fargo. I mean, we all know the three major index in US, but some of us may not know this. There is a fourth one called Russell 2000, which is not as big as the top three, but still it is significantly bigger than some advanced economic index. Now, in the Wells Fargo statement, they mentioned that yesterday was this Russell 2000 rebalancing. So, market might have some short-term pullback. Then the third, final, JP Morgan said that the rally that started major stock buyback is going to decline as they expect the decline in company earnings. Simply, all these three investment firms made the statement kind of against the big tech AI bubble, so it kind of sets the negative tone. This, along with the geopolitical tension and last week's hawkish speech by both Fed chairman and couple of FMC members, increased the recession fear now. In the end, Dow Jones closed flat, S&P funded down by 0.45% and Nasdaq crashed by 1.16%. In case of VIX, it increased 6% and moved above 14 Regarding oil, there is not much change. It's same as Thursday and Friday. At this time of this video, WT crude oil is trading at 69.5 US dollars per barrel and Brent crude oil was traded at 74.5 US dollars per barrel. Coming to Indian ADR, Last Friday, there was a negativity around IT stocks, but yesterday it turned, there was a negativity around banks. Both banks closed more negative than the Indian market. I mean, ICIC Bank in India, it closed to positive. In US, it turned 0.5% negative. Similarly, HDFC Bank closed negative of around 0.3% in India, whereas in US, that negativity further increased to 0.8%. However, IT was crazy positive. I mean, Infosys increased near 2%, whereas Wipro increased 1.3%. Regarding the possible reason, I like to discuss that in the later part of the video. Then, about SX Nifty, at 3 a.m. Indian Standard Time, it closed at 18,715. Since now it's only two days for expiry, thus, there is a slight or no premium at present, which means it's kind of indicating around flat to 20 points gap up opening. So, that's what happened in global market yesterday. Now, let's move to the India specific. First, last night, there was a marketing research data center company called Equinix released the detailed report about AI. In that, they mentioned almost all the industry sector is going to use the AI. So, there will be an uptake on AI requirement. And for that requirement, as per their report, 85% of Indian IT leaders believe that their existing IT infrastructure is ready for the AI demand and its related business. 
whereas in comparison only 56% in asia pacific have certainty about the ability of their infrastructure for ai which includes china us australia and japan etc and we know the new market bubble word is ai and that's the reason for this new positivity around the indian it stocks in addition to this infosys got the new project worth 450 million us dollars with denmark's danske bank so all looks positive for it today but we have to be careful here since as goldman sachs said in their report earlier most of the case fast money will cause the disappointment second info i like to highlight is about the gold mining yesterday evening nmdc announced that they are going to invest around 500 crore rupees in their allocated gold block third atel ceo announced his resignation but he will remain in the company until the third week of august 2023 Generally market doesn't like the CEO resignation so let's see now about who is going to replace him and how much market is confident about the new person as a summary US tech stocks closed over 1% negative and the SHS Nifty indicating more of the flat to positive opening however US AI fever looks like transferring into India so will it take the Nifty to over 19000 since so far only IT stocks didn't join the party Let's see only time has to answer regarding the things to look out during the market hours i don't know anything other than european central bank people's interview however in the night there are lots and lots of us related macro such as housing data durable goods order book and cb consumer conference data all are scheduled to release coming to technical by combining the last 2 3 days nifty forms bullish harami formation if we consider the single day then it forms the spinning top candle Now regarding the explanation generally bullish harami is a candlestick chart indicator that suggests the bearish trend might come to an end i mean here one or two red downward candle represents the downward trend however the following small green candle completely contained with the previous candle which signals the reduction of sellers in the market basically the smaller the second candlestick the stronger is the reversal signal then about the spinning top it's a neutral candle here there is neither selling off nor nifty is able to break the all time high mark it's kind of stuck anyway technically after a short term correction nifty witnessed range bound activity near 18650 or 20 day sma simba moving average now the important level would be 18725 as it's the first key hurdle to break above 18725 a fresh uptrend rally is possible till 18800 to 18820 on the flip side below 18650 selling pressure is likely to accelerate and could slip till 18600 to 18550 in case of bank nifty momentum is missing but it has continued to hold above 43500 so we can expect some bounce back till 43800 and 44050 level On the contrary a move below might push the bank nifty to 43250 level the overall undertone of the index remains neutral and a break on either side of the support or resistance level will confirm a clear trend moving on based on option change in open interest for nifty comparatively high number of new put options is added at 18600 18650 and 18450 so today if market opens above 18650 then 18600 will act as support otherwise 18500 to 18550 can act as the immediate support similarly some new call options were added between 18750 to 19000 so that region might act as the immediate resistance Then from overall options open interest data 18700 got the significant short straddle 18800 got the nearby maximum call option open interest thus 18800 will be the resistance in case of bank nifty from overall options open interest data between 43500 to 43700 got the significant short straddle then 43500 got the maximum nearby put option open interest followed by 43000 since 43500 is the short straddle so 43000 is the support to look out for the expiry and 44000 is the immediate resistance to break so that's all in this video hope you all got some useful information please consider subscribing the channel and liking the video so it will help me beat the youtube algorithm and also motivate me to do more 
please don't make any investigation based on this as i'm not a sebi registered advisor i am doing this for my and viewers educational purpose only thanks for watching